Well, hello there, guys. Welcome to Kusan Gaming. Today, we're going to play some Urban Empire. Urban Empire. You know, any game with the word Empire in it is going to be a good game. You have got to bet on that. This is a city building game, but it's done more from a mayor perspective. So it's kind of a mayor simulator game, if you will. And I haven't played too much of this game, probably like just a few days. And, you know, I've gotten to know it. It's a pretty good game. It's a pretty good game. It's very straightforward. Let's get into it. Now, the thing about this game is that you don't actually build the roads in the cities. You build districts. All right. First of all, let me just explain here what we're doing. We're going to choose a family. The Von, Pil Von Filzens. These guys are traditionalists. The Emperor probably likes them. Saint Elias is innovative and likes technology. Good. The Kilgannons, uh, I don't know much about them, but they look like they're part of the proletariat. I mean, they're the Green Party mixed with the Workers' Party, like, pretty much. That must be quite challenging <laughs> to play as. And then we have the Shuiskis, who are uh, kind of, I don't know, cultural? They're kind of anything. Apparently they're anything. They're Russian emigres. So I'm going to go based off of the nicest looking crest. This one's not bad. I like it. This one has a, you know, quill on the top of his head. So that's kind of weird. As I said, I don't want to probably be the people's party for some reason. And so I'm going to go with this one with the peacock feathers and the black raven and the sort of weird ancient instrument and the bag of mystery goods. This guy's holding a mystery bag. We don't know what's in it. Probably gold, but we don't know that. And then most importantly, you know, this duck. Yeah. So we're going to play as a Shui's Keys, and I mentioned the Emperor. What am I talking about? So what happens is we're starting in the Industrial Revolution, and what we're doing is we're building a city for the Emperor of Austria on the Adriatic coast. So we have a few uh, options here of cities, of like sort of maps. Oh no! I pressed the wrong map. Well, I guess we're going to play on this map, guys. Uh, it's some kind of a cape, but there's not too much land on it. That's the one thing. Hmm. Well, let's not panic. Let's try it out. So we're going to play as this guy, Vasily Shuisky. And uh, I mean, if you're really strategic, you'd probably want to know what you're going to do in this game in terms of what political moves you're going to make, uh, what angle, how you're going to develop your city. Personally, I am going to just play more free mode style, just, just try to make money. That's pretty much, you gotta make some money before you can start being all political, right? Alright, let's uh, name our city here. Uh, so we're gonna be Kusantia, something like that, it's just something simple. The Emperor is gonna grant us $500,000 in personal funds, yep, nice, nice, to create the foundations of the city. So, now, this game has a pretty decent tutorial built right into the game, and uh, so it's not going to be bothering us too much. Honestly, those two little tips of how to uh, tilt your camera and stuff is pretty much all we're going to really have to deal with. Wow, so our city goes all the way in here? This is sort of our border here. Why is our city going all the way in there? That's interesting. All right, well, you know what? It's more land than I actually thought. I just didn't know it goes that deep in. So do we want to play here? Mm, yes or no. I'll be right back with the other map. We're probably going to like the other map better. All right, so we are here on this other map that I quite honestly prefer because would you look at that? Look at those wonderful beaches. Look at that wonderful lighthouse. And the whole plot of land just seems greener. I also caught a little bit of a frame rate issue, so I fixed that. So we're lucky to be here, and let's go ahead and place our first district here. So our land doesn't go as far in, however, we have a much wider waterfront property. So yeah, I enjoy this map. So where are we going to put our first district? I mean, I mean, I imagine the Emperor would want me to build it somewhere defensible, you know, behind this little cape, but also close to the water. Yeah, so let's go ahead. Let's build it right here. So you basically just start with like a little district like this. I mean, that's actually not too bad. Uh, it's not too bad. Let's go ahead and yeah, let's confirm land plan. Why? 
What's happening here? Oh, they want me to add a corner. Okay. You want me to make it less beautiful. <laughs> okay. Is that really what we want? You know what? That gives us a nice four grid. Four by four. Four by six. Something like that. All right. I'll accept that. Since that's what the mayor, that's what, not the mayor, this guy, I don't know who that guy is, but he's a little advice. Oh my gosh. We glitched the game within five minutes of playing. Okay, you know what? We're going to actually rebuild this district. Because I haven't seen that glitch before. Don't worry, that's not a part of this game. I think the only reason it happened is because we kind of need to connect our nodes to this main road, which we didn't do. Or we don't have to do. I don't. I don't know. What, what would we like to do? Well, what we could do here is sort of. Yeah, there we go. Have one road coming out the middle. Let's fix this angle out here a bit, if at all possible. Come on, we're almost there. I can see it. I can feel it. You know what? This is not bad. This is not bad. It gives us a little bit of a u unique grid, which is not perfect, but don't forget, we're in Europe. So, yeah, look, no glitches, a nice commercial area in the middle, and hopefully there's room to build our town hall right here. Well, I think there is, yeah. There we go. Brilliant. So, we're creating our first district. We're going to use our personal money here. It costs 381000 which is, uh, you know, the, the most of... That's pretty much all my money. Okay, fine. Okay, wow. Now, I didn't name the district. We're not going to worry about that too much right now. We can always rename it. How about Progress Cloud? So this is basically our tech tree. What are we going to start with? We're going to start with safety authorities. Because every city needs to be safe. Fire, health, and police. All right? All right. It also allows us to build a clinic. Okay, interesting. So let's go ahead and research that. Now I'll show you this quickly. This is an interesting tech tree. I haven't seen one like this in uh, many games, I mean, ever. So this is our first era. This game is divided into five eras. And uh, if you look at the second era, it kind of just grows from the middle here. It's kind of like an interesting root system. But Anyway, we're going to have to do most of these texts to get to the next era. I don't think you could really, you know, skip texts, but maybe you can. I don't know what the point of that would be. So let's go ahead and uh, press play on our game here. We're, by the way, in the year 1820, right? So we can see our city population up here. It's growing. We can see our demand for industry, residential, commercial, all that good stuff. And now we're going to click on uh, district info. Good. Modify district. What are we doing here? We are going to add a school. So they're just showing you how to build a basic service and it's not a bad idea. So let's go ahead and put a school. Now based on this yellow thing, I want to get this whole district, but I want to also plan it in a way that future districts to this side of it. Yeah, because if I put it on this end, we're going to just be serving the water now. Uh, this isn't a mermaid school. This is a serious Austrian institute. So yeah. Let's put it here, maybe? Yeah, right here. No, you don't like it? How about right here? Alright, perfect. Thank you. Now, this costs 125000 and is going to cost us $14,000 per month. Wow. Uh, yeah, so I'm actually going to keep the name Triezenau. Triezenau, that sounds very Austrian, so I approve. Alright. Now, speaking of approve, we have this uh, voting on districts and on different things that I want to do. This party is going to really support this because <laughs> I'm using personal funds. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for your support, guys. I'll pay for it. You just have to vote on it. All right, what do we have here? Click the Wheel of Life. Interesting name. Don't mind if I do. So our citizens are, you know, almost like they're, they're happy. They're breaking even. They, they're just getting by here. We have a little bit of uh, security issues. And, uh, you know, our physical environment is not too good. Average health is a bit low, but... Average personal growth would, I guess... This is referring to the students, if you want to check it out. Provided eight. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's students because it's the same color. All right, 
what do they want me to do? They want me to go to the city council. Good. So why don't I show you guys what this city council is all about? We have these, uh, you know, we have the view of the council. And these are the party logos and I guess where they're sitting. And then we can go to look at the political parties here one by one. As you can see, one of them is called the Physiocratic Party. The Free Democratic Party is this one. And the National Swirelian Party. And they also have this, you know, quadrant. So, like, the National Swirelian Party is dead center. Physiocratic is a left-leaning party. And the Free Democratic Party is a right-leaning party. But what we're doing here is we're raising taxes. Because obviously we're losing, let's see, $10,000. Uh, sorry, $10,000. Get your currency correct. All right, so we're gonna increase the taxes here on business tax. That's what they want me to do, which is gonna give us a mere three thousand dollar bonus here. So why don't I just uh, tax the people as well? It'll give us five thousand per month. Hmm, not enough, eh? Let's push those business taxes a little bit more. It's gonna give us seven thousand uh, five hundred dollars per month. All right, we'll propose it. And as you can see, actually, the more you push these things in one way or the other, you can see that the parties go from green, which is endorsing it, to... So if I lower taxes, honestly, the Free Democratic Party is, like, super into that. And at some point, it just, like, completely flips. And the Swirelian Party and the Physiocratic Party support that. But anyway, we're, gonna, we're not going to push it too much. We're going to push it by 1%. So we're going to have to deal with this kind of a political landscape and then what we can do here is we can appeal the parties using goodwill we can plead the parties demand or threaten the parties seeing as this guy has goodwill uh, like he's already approving the bill we'll just you know we'll just use goodwill for now actually because I think we're gonna get this tax thing passed let's go ahead and plead this guy as well do I tell them I need a favor? Yeah, why don't we just tell them we need a favor? They don't even know who I am. But, you know, yeah, I need a favor. Thank you. Alright, the National Swirlian Party, we're going to tell them the positive effects. Okay, and they went up a bit. Now, also, okay, let's go back to the city. Those uh, parties can actually plead other parties. You, They can do their own swaying, too. So, that's the interesting, interesting thing here. It'll pop up here sometimes, and you'll see that, you know... A certain party is appealing to another party. There we go. This guy is asking the other guy to please raise taxes. So before we vote, um, we also have these blue pop-ups here, which are pretty much events in the game that are optional. Sometimes, I guess maybe they're not optional, but they do disappear if you don't click them. So it's a good idea to make sure to keep an eye on that. So what we got to do here for safety authorities, since we're halfway down, done this tech, is choose sort of you know a special specialization if you will uh, i'm gonna go with police force just because we don't have that great of security nor do we have good health i can also go for clinics honestly but uh let's go for police force it's gonna reduce the cost of our police stations and improve their you know efficiency we also have accusations of incompetence. Interesting. Okay, so this is all party politics, and this is sometimes you can just ignore it if you don't want to, but uh, the physiocratic party accuses me of being incompetent. Seriously? Now, if I call them a bunch of fools, I get the cruel trait. Now, as a Russian, uh, Mr. Shuisky is definitely gonna, you know, speak his mind. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's begin voting. Sometimes you can appeal the people right before a vote. You can even do it, I think, up to three times, right at the beginning of proposing a bill, somewhere in the middle, and then at the end. And that, that way you have a few chances to really get people on board with your policy if you <laughs> need it. Oh gosh, no one's happy about that. The people are not for what I've just done. But you know what? We're making money now. We're at $3,500. And uh, yeah. Nice. Safety does not happen by accident. There we go. We've been researching that one little quote this whole time. So next time I think I'm going to go clockwise here. I'm just going to do thermodynamics. If I do thermodynamics, we're going to get a clothing store, police station, railway station. I do like that police station, given that we literally just chose that as a, as a 
sort of policy, right? All right, go to city council. Don't mind if I do. And right here we have edicts. So let's go and I guess, you know, this advisor of ours is teaching us. He wants us to basically put an edict in. So we're going to do work safety. We can ban prostitution if we want. But you know what? Let's just do work safety. Probably going to be good for our businesses. Now you can see here the result, the support for this uh, policy. And what does it do? Bonus to security for those working in all industrial companies. Okay, interesting. It's going to increase the security. And I'm, I'm not sure about the color here. Does red mean bad? Because it's plus 5% demand. That's what I'm understanding. Anyway, doesn't matter. We'll do it. And I'm not going to plead anyone. Like, we'll, we'll let the parties decide for themselves. The physiocratic party appealed someone. So they're actually pushing people more towards that. Now, the physiocratic party is very left-leaning, right? So they're going to want progressive things. And uh, progressive things are good in a sense, in the sense that your city, uh, by being more progressive, makes probably makes citizens happier, right? Makes businesses happier, you know, increases safety like we just did. But at the same time, the more of those progressive acts you pass, the more you have demand for certain things and... And you're gonna have to like build buildings for that and you're gonna have higher cost so pushing through too many progressive bills at the same time as i you know perceive it so far is uh gonna cause you to really lose a lot of money <laughs> if you do it too fast let's do this uh thermodynamics uh, little boost here what do we want for railroad we want cheaper construction please the physiocratic party or the nationalist party well i think i'm just gonna go for the cheaper option you know, gotta be smart about it. Alright, ban heavy work by children. And as I was just describing, we're, we're not gonna, we're gonna oppose this, because first of all, we just increased the safety for these uh, so-called children under the age of 10 who are working in the factories. Oh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to uh, appeal parties on this bill, because a lot of people actually want the safety for children, which is fine, you know, but like, give us some time here. This is 1827, man. We're still in this, like, pretty lax environment. We want industries to come to our city. So, most citizens agree with this, says I. <laughs> How about we, uh, oh, this guy's already against it, so thank you. And for the next party, since they're so for it, why don't we, why don't we demand? Why don't we demand it? It's going to cost us a bit of goodwill. All right, two goodwill is not too much, so address them in a party speech. And we brought them down to center. Nice. Now, we have $400,000. We're making money. Thus, from this we could probably... Alright. So, uh, yeah, you have that beautiful quote to go along with the technology. We're going to go with Telegraph, just because I'm going to go uh, clockwise here around the first tier of techs. And yeah, so now we're, now we have the option of adding an institution. So the railway station costs two thousand, uh, sorry, two million. So two hundred. Okay, wait. So <laughs> I sound like Joe Biden. Two hundred thousand. Two two minus two. Okay, two million, and I have four hundred thousand. So we can't afford it. But they want us to try to do this. No one's gonna approve it. So yeah, let's just not do it. I don't usually do it. Because look at the benefits. Plus one personal development and plus one, uh, I guess, city fun. <laughs> Steam and speed. Um, this is where I can uh, appeal to the people. Every Everybody should have access to trains, says I. I get the populist trait. But I lied to them. I literally didn't even attempt to build a train station. So, yeah, I'm glad they bought my words. I love this little life of a politician I'm leading. So here, we're going to appeal to the parties again on this ban work for 10-year-olds thing because, as I said, we can do it a few times. And if we're not careful, the other parties can sort of sway other people as well, so... We're going to avoid talking to that party. We don't really need to do much. Now this guy, we're actually going to demand it again. And uh, this, is this decision will give us a better tomorrow. Yeah, thank you. So, now... 
as a, as a Shuisky family member, there's also sort of a family line story here. So I guess this one is uh, a family related event. So as mayor and as a banker, everybody who is anybody in the southern part of the empire has reasons to meet you. The twin role, sorry, this twin role has helped make Kusantia a flourishing city, but buzzing with life. As mayor, you want to be impartial and make sure everybody has a chance in life. Blah, 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 blah. Are you sure about that, sir? All right, but however, as a banker, you are in an exceptional position to ensure your bank makes wise decisions. Um, well, we're gonna, this is basically insider trading, right? So, and it seems like all the four options are gonna be insider trading. All right, sales demand for industries plus 10%. Good, not bad. Um, I'm glad we have all this uh, <laughs> insider trading. What a typical Russian, you know? Using his position of power to, uh, you know, for corruption. Strange gift. All right, so we have gotten this llama from a Caribbean island. Do I want to accept it or give it to a local farmer? Let's give it to a farmer since I think we're populist, right? Oh, it's going to help textile companies. Nice. So if you zoom in here, we have horse and carriages. Nice. You can actually read what they are doing. This is what? Candles? Brick factory? Oh, okay. I'm missing all these. Okay, fight in the council. Mr. Varga from the Free Democrat Party. <laughs> he's a madman. Whatever he's doing, he's a madman. We have a dinner invitation. Sure, why not? It's just going to increase our goodwill. And since I don't have too much money, we're going to use this telegraph. We're going to give it private use. Basically, you know, I've done a few of these decisions before in playing this game, and, you know, they're not too important. Okay, begin voting here on Let the Children Work. Yay! <laughs> All 10-year-olds should learn to earn their way, proclaims parent, as no heavy work bill fails to garner votes. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. And look, they have to work late at night, too. Raise funding. Okay, so here is another thing we can do in the council. We can actually, you know, adjust funding for services. We have this grammar school, and I guess that's the only thing we can really adjust funding for. So by adjusting funding, we're going to save a few thousand. How much? About 5,000? All right. Proposed funding. And they're actually going to be for it. So nice. Actually making a decent amount of money at 15K. The Physiocratic Party wins the election. So right now, people are leaning to the left. They do want progressive changes. I guess they are not too happy about the whole 10-year-olds working. But uh, if they're working, we might as well not fund the school, right? So there we go. <laughs> We're becoming a worker's state. Oh, no. Invention breeds invention. No sooner is the electric telegraph device All right. than gutta percha, the very material it requires, is found. Let's do gas infrastructure. Now we're being uh, pushed to create a new district, which is good. I, I would like to do that. So where are we going to do it? We can do it. Let's do it here, right? We said we were going to build a school to sort of appeal to the east side. All right. The only problem is in this game, ugh, to me personally, is like they don't like connecting these roads up <laughs> to other to other connections. Please, please connect. District too large. Yeah, we can deal with that. Not a problem. What's going on here? Oh boy. Gotta make this district a bit smaller, but they're not seeming like they want to connect those roads up. Which is gonna grind my gears a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So they're gonna connect the roads up now. Which is uh, the most important thing when planning a city. I Trust me, it really is. Okay, that looks cute. Nope, come on. Didn't it just offer me a nice road connection there? Or... Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna go for this, you know, weird little design. Now we can also choose to sort of appeal to the demand we have. We have 
seven commercial demands, so we should probably raise this commercial district a bit. Oh my gosh, that's huge. And we have negative industrial demand, so maybe we can remove some of the industries. I mean, sorry, residences. All right, that seems good. That seems nice. Uh, let's confirm it. And what else do we have here? We have the option of putting some services. Now, what do we have here? We have actually pretty bad health. So we were going for police station. I mean, we have the bonus that it's a bit cheaper. It's 19K per month. Whereas the clinic is 22K per month. I mean, we're kind of, we kind of are stuck with having to go with a police station now. Not stuck, but you know. We could put it in this industrial zone and then we have like pretty good coverage for both districts. Which is gonna cost us 600,000 plus the district costs. Plus 19,000 per month, which, hmm. I mean, I wanna, I wanna put this police station because I wanna give people a few services, you know? So overall, 48,000 per month, wow. But that's before anyone moves in, like they're gonna move in and pay taxes too. Proposed district. Ah, they seem to, they seem to want to do that. So yeah, normal vote, let's go ahead. Bill Ridge, Bill Ridge? Why didn't I name the district? Uh, now they want to ban work for under 10 year olds. Uh, oh, sorry guys. We're going to have to oppose that again. We're not going to let anything pass in our town council. Alright, let's vote on this new district. You guys better vote for it. Because I didn't appeal to anyone. Perfect. There's our beautiful new district. We're losing $25,000 per month now. But you know what? Oh, okay, it's going up, it's going up. We're gonna make some money now. It's filling in nicely. They were serious about not having residential demand. I mean, oh no, here they come, here they come. Brilliant. All right, gas infrastructure, what do we want here? Do we want the Parisian model? The Anglo-Saxon model, so one of them gives you security bonus, and because we have a police station, we're going to have to not do the Anglo-Saxon model. That gives us bonus security. So we'll do the Parisian model. The Viennese model is basically appealing to the physiocrats, but uh, yeah, let's go with Parisian. Well, we're a fancy city. I think Shuisky is quite a, uh, quite a cultured Russian emigre, you know? The porch light is burned out, and I can't see whether it's dark outside or not. What? What? Fooey. All right. So now, okay. Let's let's go to tier two here. We have the Bessemer process, photography, sanitation, rights of man. I mean, what does this give us? Density. Ooh, interesting. Interesting density. Photography gives us a theater. Oh, entertainment. Okay, I see, I see. Okay, make our city fun. Workshop. Oh, and way too many, way too many policies. You're not, you're not, you're never going to hear the end of it from the party, uh, from the political people. Yeah, let's do Bessemer process. We might give us, we might do like a high density district. All right, so now. All right, hold on. It's going a little bit too fast here. Let's vote on this children thing. Ooh, I didn't appeal to any of the parties, so they actually might get this bill. Well, the physiocrats, I only have two goodwill, so we're going to plead them. You should reconsider one last time. All right. The Free Democratic Party, we have a bunch of goodwill with them, because I guess, I guess we're kind of on the right. <laughs> All right. And this guy, we have four goodwill. You know what? We're going to threaten this guy. It's going to cost us four goodwill, but this is going to put them right here in the middle. We'll see what happens. Let's go ahead and vote. Okay, I think, they, I think they're going to actually ban work for children under 10, but, you know, that's fine. It's here. Young children no longer to do unwieldy work. Uh, unwieldy safe work. We made it safe. Okay, but the people are happy, so I'm happy. All right, let's... Uh, Hold on, hold on. Stop rushing here. Okay. Modify district. 
They want us to add gas infrastructure. I should probably do it in that district, right? Actually, I'm not going to do it at all. <laughs> Got you. I'm going to rename the district, though. Uh, we're going to call it Barnabla. Yeah, that's a good name. That's great. Click on gas. No, I don't, I don't want to give them gas. Well, and I don't have to. <laughs> we're going to wait for our uh, next district with density. I think it'd be smarter to put the gas on the high density district, right? So probably around here somewhere because they're sort of near a school, sort of near a police station. And come on, it's 1839. They don't need public gas. Oh, or, or street lamps. Like apparently the guy wasn't even sure if it's dark outside when his street lamp went out. I'm like, excuse me, sir. Is this what we're paying you for? Your silly remarks? I do appreciate the, you know, the local traffic. There's pedestrians. Quite nice. Hedges. I didn't know that's a thing in the ancient times. Alright, right to own property. It is hereby proposed women shall be allowed to hold property titles. Um, I oppose. Obviously. Look at that. Everyone opposes it, and so will I. <laughs> who brought this, who brought this bill to me? My gosh. All right, well, you know, I, I don't worry. We want women to have property, but not in 1842. All right, let, you, let the companies use the technology freely, which would give us some physical environment penalty. Boosts five industries. Let's boost five industries. Glass, chemicals, textiles, paper, and metal. Okay, I'm good with that. Our physical environment really fell, so people are probably not too happy right now, but uh, don't worry, guys. Parks are coming. Parks are on their way. And also street lamps, which are going to make the city just so beautiful. Oh, and the physiocratic party wins again. So yeah, are we going to go for some kind of a funky European grid system where it's like none of the grids actually align? Probably. Probably. Wow, this right to own property thing. Oh, I need to appeal people if I want to actually, you know, not have it pass. So we'll do that. What party is a big threat? This one, right? And we actually have a lot of goodwill with them, so we're going to demand it. In a newspaper, of course. I don't know if the women read the newspaper at this day and age, but, uh, yeah. I guess the target market of the newspaper is men. So yeah, we'll write about that in the newspaper. Oh, more newspaper articles. Wow. I'm running such a smear campaign against women right now. My gosh. How, do, how am I still mayor? Oh, yes. The emperor. Yes. Sorry, I forgot. It has always been that ever since the Industrial Revolution, science fiction has been the most important genre there is. What a... You have a nice British accent, my man. Thank you so much for that uh, thing. Okay, so we're going to do <laughs> rights of men. As an insult to the women that I'm currently, you know, neglecting, we're going to call it rights of men. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I am just joking, you know. Right. It is time to vote. I, I should probably appeal the parties a little bit more because it looks a bit like it's in the middle. We're just going to use our common goodwill here. Most citizens will agree with this. Yeah, because citizens are male voters. Don't you get it? Don't you get the loopholes? Oh, right. And here we are. Opposing bills once again. Boom. Bill hits brick wall. Or glass ceiling. Women will not own property. All right. So we did the Bessemer project, right? So why don't we... That, that one allows us to build... Ooh, they, they locked... They, they locked building districts, guys. They really want me to put gas in one of these stupid communities. Oh my gosh. Alright, well... I missed an event. Uh, it doesn't matter. So, I guess we'll give this guy the capital district. 
modify, gas, activate. It's going to cost us 14000 per month. We're actually swimming in cash, so I think we should do it. <laughs> we have to propose it, though. All right. Let's propose it. Propose. They are going to seriously enjoy this. They really want to approve this. Good. You know what? In that case... Oh, I can't do two at once. But I would like to have done two at once. Just because... Uh, just, just a headache to do it like one by one. Well, not really a headache, but like... Alright, police funding. The physiocrat... The physiocratic party wants to increase the budget for police stations. Uh, why? No. The security is fine in my city. <laughs> Although the physiocrats don't like me too much. Worldwide bust. Recession goes global. Gosh, I'm installing street lamps, and now the economy is going to collapse? Um, home of big businesses. What, what is this? Ooh, victory progress. I see. We have interesting victory progresses where we're, we're like different... I guess economic victory or political victory? I, I had no idea that there's victory types in this game. I'll have you know that. All right. Well, okay, I want the five people... The seven people who voted against the street lamps out of the city now. Or or at least move to Barnablaw, where there's no street lamps. Perfect. So did that help our physical environment at all? Not really, I guess. But oh, select a new invention. Ooh. Let's do sanitation. So now we're going sort of counterclockwise on the second ring here. Bessemer, rights of man, sanitation. They're gonna they're gonna try to force me to put water pipes in this district, aren't they? What is it? They want me to modify a district. Why? Why 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 why? Why? Choose density. Confirm. I'm not gonna change the density of an existing district. You're crazy. Finalize district. Thank you. It's going to cost us a lot of money, but I I just... I feel like they're going to demolish the district, right? They demolish all the buildings if they're going to be building high-density buildings. All right, well, then what can we do here? We can... If we rename the district, is that like a loophole? All right, we're going to call this district Gotta Do's. Because uh, that sounds a bit Austrian. Propose. <laughs> Darn it, they really want me to... They really want me to change the... Okay, what if I increase the zoning a bit? Confirm, 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 propose. Okay, that made the, the pop-up <laughs> go away. But, uh... I don't, I don't think that by increasing the commercial by 1%, it's going to change any of the actual zoning. That's just my feeling. All right, here's a family event. Family fortunes. With your time being more and more consumed by the government of Kusantia, of the Kusantia, apparently, the family enterprise has started to suffer. So are, who are we going to entrust some of our responsibilities? Because my son is apparently too young. Uh, this is why this is why I wanted under 10-year-olds to work. Okay. Somewhat questionable cousin. Ooh, oh, there we go. We got, some, we got some bonus prestige and cash from nepotism. Great. So not only are we an inside trader, we're nepotists, and uh, we are denying the rights of women. So I, I'm, I'm probably a terrible mayor, honestly. All right, begin voting. One person. Okay, two people are against it. All right. I don't know if that changed anything. Hope for faded economy. Oh, okay, markets are recovering. Good. I saw a building, I think, moving out. Is that it? All right, let's slow down here. I think I'm gonna like uh, end the episode here, honestly, because we have two nice districts. And next episode, what we're gonna do is build our high density in district. With uh, and we're gonna pro provide as many services as we can because we're starting to fall behind here, especially health, happiness. I mean, just all around, it seems like the only thing we have is security. But uh, but we have a school, so I mean, we sh we could just increase the funding. You know, but we're a terrible mayor. We are these Russians who came to Austria and are totally ripping off the uh, 
the economy by inside trading and stuff. Well, not ripping off, but I mean, profiteering, I would say. Right, so thanks for watching this episode. And if you like this game, you know, you should probably get it. Or you should watch more of my episodes, because I'm having fun. So thanks so much for watching. It has been Kusan of Kusantia. Ciao, guys. Bye.